Welcome back, everybody. Thank you for joining me here today so that we can discuss Germany Year Zero. So this movie uh, is about a young boy named Edmund. He lives in a completely devastated Berlin that is ravaged by war, fascism. It's, it's, it's a disaster. Everyone is struggling just to exist, let alone survive or do much more than that. So Edmund doesn't have much of a home life. His, he can kind of confide in his sister and have some kinship there, but his father's angry and sick all the time. His family was pushed into a bombed-out building, and the people who own the building are mad that they're there. So he doesn't have a lot to look forward to at home. He's tasked to take a metal scale out to sell it, to get some money for food, and that kind of kickstarts off a little series of adventures that find Edmund meeting dangerous people, doing dangerous things, and really just getting put through the ringer, basically. And no matter what he does, when he can get home and bring home a little bit of food, it's never enough. And this is a this is a really dark movie. Like, this is intense. It's much more horrific than it would be if we were following an adult character. The fact that we're following a, a little kid is makes this... It can be hard to watch at times, especially toward the uh, conclusion of the movie. <laughs> But it's really well acted. It feels real. It feels authentic. If it, it's the atmosphere and the dread and the tension in this are just out of this world. Um, it's definitely not one like that I'm gonna probably revisit often. But I do. I, it is one that I definitely think needs to be seen. There are elements in this uh, political and social themes that are definitely still relevant to a point today and could be even more relevant in the near future. So I definitely recommend checking it out. It's a hard watch, but a lot of great movies are, and this is really well made. It's masterful, to be honest, in the way that it's able to conjure emotions and make you feel, you know, as trapped as the people in this movie are. So that's my review of Germany Year Zero. It's available from Criterion Collection, and it's got a neat uh, documentary on there about the director, and then it's also got a bunch of other extras. It comes part of like a war trilogy set. Anyway, that's my review of Germany Year Zero. Thank you for watching this review. If you want to see more reviews, go to my website, markfusion.com, or you can go right here on YouTube to my movie review playlist. But thank you for watching this review, and hopefully I'll see you soon.